I was so excited when rumours started going around about a Lego set depicting the bunker scene from the Mandalorian TV series, along with Paz Vistla, which up until this set was released had only been in one Lego set. However, once we got pictures of the set, I was a bit disappointed to be honest by what Lego had made. But not all of it is bad, so let's dive in and let's take a look at this set. As said just now, this set being set number 75386 depicts the scene from the season 3 of the Mandalorian TV series series where the Mandalorians are ambushed by Moff Gideon and his new troopers which are befitted with Beskar and look pretty badass. Unfortunately this is the scene where Paz Vizsla is killed as he sacrifices himself so that the other Mandalorians can escape by fighting with the Praetorian guards until he is overcome and killed by them. This set is the first set since the Armour's Mandalorian Forge to feature Paz Vizsla and the first set since the Imperial Light Cruiser to feature Moff Gideon. Both of those sets came out in 2021 so it's been a good few years for both minifigures and the they both feature differences compared to their older versions. The price for the set is set at £34.99 and I paid full price because I managed to get it a little bit earlier. I should have waited really but we'll see what this set is like and see if it's worth the full retail price. Looking at the box art of the set, on the front we have a bit of action going on with Paz Vistler shooting at one of the Praetorian guards with the other one running over to attack him from the back. Moff Gideon is above the guard with his jetpack with a thermal detonator in his hand. In the bottom right corner we get a good look at the four included minifigures with the other corner showing Mando with Grogu which is always nice to see. Turn the box around and we get a look at a few things in this set that we didn't get to see on the front. This includes the door that actually opens like so. We also get a look at Moff Gideon without his helmet on whilst he's firing the stud shooter cannon. Next to the big picture of the set on the back we also have two smaller pictures showing us the player features of the set. This includes the opening and closing of the door and the cannon which has stud shooters on either side of it. In the box we find three bags full of parts, a sticker sheet with only five stickers on which isn't too bad and as always instructions to complete the build. And this is the build set. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought which is a good start considering the price however it isn't the most complete set I've seen. But then this set is able to join up with the new battle pack set as well which looks pretty cool. The building experience for this set was quite good actually. You start off with the build with one of the sides on the floor. There is a sticker which I feel is a bit hidden in this set but I believe this is where I'm of Gideon can see all the action take place from in the safety of this little cubby hole. You then build the other side before assembling the door which is quite thick and quite weighty which made me wonder if this was actually gonna fit but thankfully it did. The last thing to be built is this turret with stud shooters on either side of it which can be stationed on top of the wall here or down the ground like this. So about that feature I mentioned earlier but didn't know about until I actually built the set for some reason. With this set depicting the scene where the Mandalorians get trapped by the door you can actually recreate create that with this little lever. All you do is pull the door up like this and set the lever in this position so that the door rests on it. Then when you want to catch a live one, push the lever like this and the door falls down. Actually a pretty cool feature in my opinion. There's four minifigures included in this set, all of which are unique to this set at the time of this review coming out. The minifigures included are two Praetorian guards, Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon. The latter two we haven't seen since 2021. The Praetorian guards feature a new helmet mode for this set which which looks quite good and feature printing on the front and back of their torsos with some printing on the front of their legs as well. And these figures also come with energy infused weapons which you can build with the set as well. As usual they have no fabric around the waist to imitate their robes but they are bad minifigures in my opinion. On to Moff Gideon and this minifigure is all new with slight differences. One being with the lack of a moustache which I'm not sure how I feel about to be honest. We see printing on the front of the back of the torsos again with some appearing on the legs. Included in the set as well is the jetpack piece which is used on this minifigure and also the reason why this minifigure doesn't have a cape which I'd rather have the cape to be honest and I wish Lego included it as sort of a courtesy thing but never mind. His helmet is a nice mold and looks really really cool with some printing to add more details of the helmet as well. Finally my favourite character from the series Paz Vizsla. Compared to the old one there is only marginal differences mainly on the helmet but that's about it. That's not to say this is a bad minifigure they nailed it pretty much with the last one. This minifigure though features printing on the front and back as well as on the legs. It comes with his usual shoulder pads which also have print on as well with a bit of a backpack and a large gun which completes the minifigure very nicely. The minifigures in this set are really what sell this set in my opinion. In fact I wish they just ditched the build and caught a battle pack although it's kind of a glorified battle pack anyway at this point to be honest. This brings me on to my conclusion and honestly it is still very underwhelming in my opinion. 
opinion. I wish we got a few more minifigures from the scene like the Super Commandos, which LEGO have decided to put into another set, which is totally wrong in my opinion. The minifigures included are really cool, and it's nice to see LEGO introduce new versions of the minifigures we haven't seen in years. Don't get me wrong though, there's minifigures we haven't seen in ages, like where's the Gungan Warriors at? We haven't had one of those since 2015. <laughs> anyway, the build isn't bad and is a great start for those who want to transform it into a diorama type set which would be really cool to see. In my opinion, the price is a little too high. £29.99 would have been easier to swallow, but most places are selling this set for around that price now. So grab it if you can at that lower price. So now you know my thoughts, but what do you think of this set? Were you as disappointed as me, or are you really happy with this set? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time though, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video.